This is one of multiple videos showing you how to use Ostionado to generate frames which have been captured from a network using Wireshark. So we're gonna capture a frame and then generate a frame. The two switches in this topology are connected to an Ostionado node. On switch one, Show CDP neighbors shows us that no neighbors are connected to switch one. Doesn't see any neighboring devices. On switch two, show CDP neighbors. There are no neighbors connected to switch two. Ostionado is not forwarding traffic between these two switches. But what we could do is start capturing traffic using Wireshark in Ostionado on say ethernet one. This is the interface connected to switch one. So I'll start capturing frames and I'll stop that capture. Notice here's a CDP message. So let's start with CDP. I'm gonna export that CDP message. So CDP switch one, I'm going to only export that selected packet and I'm gonna save it as a PCAP file. So now in Ostionado, I'm going to select port one, ethernet two. That's the port connected to switch two. I had a previous stream here, which I'll delete. And what I'll do now is open the PCAP file, CDP switch one, which we saved and import that into Ostionado. So if I double click on the cog and look at the packet details, we can see details in the hex dump of an iOS switch called switch one. So CDP information is shown here in the hex dump. What I'll do is change the stream control to send 100 packets, click apply. I'm going to apply this on port 01, which is ethernet two connected to switch two. So again, on switch two, show CDP neighbors. There are no current neighbors. When I click play, we suddenly see a switch, switch one connected to port gigabit 00. So previously there were no neighbors zero neighbors displayed. Now we see one neighbor. And if we look at the details of that neighbor, we can see the ID is switch one. We can see the capabilities of the switch. It's a Cisco iOS V switch. But all we've done now is capture CDP messages using Wireshark from this interface. And what I've done now is generate the frames on this interface to make the switch believe that it's connected to switch one. Switch one is still showing no CDP neighbors, but switch two sees switch one as a CDP neighbor. So that was a simple example of how to capture traffic within GNS3 using Wireshark running within the Ostionado node and then generate frames from that capture. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.